Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don channel. We're here at the uh, on the east side of town today, Hollywood Boulevard and Stewart Avenue. We got a juice stand over here. Um, one of many that are popping up all over town now. I've read that the uh, county and city want to regulate them and charge them twelve hundred a year, but of course most of them don't make very much. So a hundred bucks a month is. Uh, Pretty much unaffordable for a lot of these folks. Drop your views in the comment section about uh, how you feel about the juice stands and their uh, ubiquity popping up everywhere all over town. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. As we approach now Bonanza Road, Bonanza is a major east west artery here in Las Vegas. Traveling from here on the far east side of town all the way out to. Uh, I believe it ends at Rancho and the 95, U.S. Highway 95, or maybe just a little beyond that. We've got these white puffy things up in the sky today. I believe they're called clouds. It's been a while since we've seen clouds here in the uh, Las Vegas area. Not to complain about abundant sunshine and blue skies, but it's nice once in a while because it helps keep the uh, temperature down. Temperature right now, car reads 100 degrees outside Fahrenheit. We come up to Washington Avenue, another major east-west artery here in town. Traveling here from the far east side of town all the way out to, I believe it goes out past Decatur, or maybe Jones, another north-south artery out there. One of those. And then this is Owens, a major east-west artery here that turns into Vegas Drive on uh, the other side of, is it MLK, I believe? One of those. If you happen to know, drop a comment in the comment section for me. We've got these political ads littering the landscape here on this side of town. Well, they're all over town, really. A bunch of people promising to do nothing for anyone but themselves. But that's another, that's a topic for another video. Still heading northbound here on Hollywood for our friends following along at home on your favorite map app. Cherry Grove Avenue there on the right. You can see uh, we're up in elevation here in the foothills of Frenchman's and Sunrise Mountains. Here on the east side of town, you've got an Albertsons over there. And this is Lake Mead Boulevard, which is another major east-west artery here. Traveling all the way, in fact, it goes all the way over to... Uh, you can take it all the way to Lake Mead, or it forks and goes north. You can go into the Valley of Fire, which is a beautiful red rock formation northeast of uh, Las Vegas here. And it goes all the way out west to, uh, to Summerlin. Got a dirt lot there. And I know the uh, county's been coming in and having to clean it up quite a bit. Had some of the uh, homeless population come in here and... Uh, Try and clean it up. Soldella Drive. La Ronda Lane. And Tiffalo. We come up to the light here at Cary, C A R E Y. And uh, we're going to keep going northbound here, but we're going to wait our turn at this light. Hollywood Boulevard's a pretty major north-south artery here on the east side of town. In fact, it's the last significant artery here connecting the north and south on the east side of town, but it does not go all the way to Henderson just yet. They've been talking about expanding it, but I have not seen any movement on that. If you happen to know whether they're doing any work down there on the south end of the uh, Hollywood Boulevard extension, please let us know. Love to hear it. And these are all new homes they're putting in up here on the right. And they're doing uh, infrastructure work here. Sewage and easements for electrical, I'm sure. So we get down to uh, two lanes here on the other side of the street. Careful in 
here with all this construction traffic, a lot of nails, other items that can puncture a tire, and that can be, that can ruin your day, getting out there and getting a flat tire. Yeah, you see they're redoing the entire other side of the street there on Hollywood. It'd be funny if they make that all nice and even, and yet they leave this all the way it is right now, as you see it here, bumpity and just not very pretty. And that field that you see out in front of you is Nellis Air Force Base out here on the very northeast part of Las Vegas. And the uh, Speedway, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, is just beyond that. We've got a rock hauling truck here. And there's a trailer. It looks like it's maybe it's run into something. And then you got a boat sitting there. And here's the signage for Nellis Air Force Base. Um, we're going to go to the left here on what it says is Cheyenne. Now heading westbound on Cheyenne, but it's not the actual Cheyenne. It's just a where the road would be if it did continue all the way over here to this side of the street. We've got some glass over there. Cheyenne is a major east-west artery on the other side of Nellis Boulevard, but we're east of Nellis over here. It looks like at one time they had made a toyed with the idea of putting it through, but it's just never happened. Pocatello Peak Way, right there. Oh, goodness. And uh, we'll take a moment here to show you Nellis Air Force Base. There is the ATC, Air Traffic Control Tower. And the runway's out there. It runs uh, southwest, northeast out there. See the fuel tanks out there they've got. And then the motor speedway, it's actually blocked by these buildings here. But it's on the other side of those buildings here to the right of the air traffic control tower. Let's see if I can maybe get the speedway in the view here. The speedway's uh, seating is all multicolored which makes it look packed, full of people. There she is. That's where EDC is held every year, Electronic Daisy Carnival. It's an uh, electronic music festival that they have every year in May. And that out there, let me see if I can zoom in a little more here, is the Las Vegas Motor Speedway way out there on the other side of Nellis Air Force Base. There's no direct path out there. We would have to go over to Nellis Boulevard and then take that up to Craig and then take Las Vegas Boulevard from Craig all the way up to the Speedway, as you see. Nellis Air Force Base out here. Doesn't look like they're running any sorties right now. is the Air Force Base here in northeastern Las Vegas. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Now, I'll make a right back and go on to Hollywood and goes back southbound on Hollywood here. And there's your signage for Nellis Air Force Base, South Gate. And, uh, some ads over here on the left that have been tacked up. That's cute. Bayliner boat just sitting there. I don't know if it's been stolen or what they did there. You can see the clouds. It's actually looking like it might be a little gray out there. Could that be rain? Haven't seen that in a long time here in Las Vegas. We're gonna make a left here into this development.
Dalt Dalton by Lennar. New homes from the 400s, it says. New models now open over here on our right. I'll show you some of the homes here. You've got Skyland, 2,270 square feet right there. And the Declan, 2,341 square feet there. And the Taylor, 2,540 square feet. And then this one here is Valmont, 2,713 square feet. So I'm curious what the, uh, I don't see any prices. Of course, you never really do on the new home developments. They don't put the prices up out front or anything like that, but uh, price per square foot would be interesting, especially when you're right here next to the Air Force Base, right? So you've got all the noise from the jets going up and down constantly, and they run constantly. They'll be out there at 11 p.m. at night. Usually they don't, they try not to run, I know, at night because they were here first, the Air Force Base was here first, this all came up around them, but they do try to respect the neighbors and all that. But um, newer neighborhood here, looks like a lot of folks have moved in here already. A lot of cars with no license plates, seeing that a lot too. Molin Heights Street here. We're going to make a right onto Molin Heights. For our friends following along at home, turning off of Charge Hand Avenue. BMW with a blacked out hood. Looks like it came off of another car. So yeah, these are the four models that they have in here. And you can see, of course, they're all on top of each other. You have really no yard to speak of. A lot of rocks comprising front yards here. Bayou Hollow Street there. And we're not, we're not going to go too far deep into this because I really don't want to get any flat tires today. Stagehand Avenue. I've had folks ask me. Hey, Biggest Don, why don't you, uh, why do you always go to the high crime or high calls for service areas parts of town? Why don't you ever, like, go to the other parts of town? Well, this is one of the other parts, and it's brand new. So its identity is just developing. Make this left after we wait for this Kia to go. street parking here. thought that might have been security, but it's not. Some sort of underground locating company there. You can see the homes under construction there on the left, and then all the plywood out here, framing plywood that they've got. And this is Drape Master Avenue, it's called. heading westbound on Drake Master. Compared to some of the other roads that we've seen around town and their names, Gunnery Forge Street, these roads aren't really imaginatively named, at least not in my opinion. Gaffer Film Street? So, so this has to do with filmmaking? Is that what these streets are all about? I'm not sure. And I don't know what the name Dalton would have to do with, the development name Dalton would have to do with movie making terms. Old El Camino there on the left. It's like some IROC rims on it too. Electric Hyundai there. It's like another family out here looking at the uh, models. Bayou Hollow. Now see, I don't know what that would have to do with. Filmmaking. 
but that's me. As we now face westbound, I just want to take a moment to say hi to everyone. Thank you for being here. We really, really appreciate all of you. I wanted to show you the new Vegas Don gear that we have available on our shop section of YouTube. We have uh, the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas skyline here. Um, on top of t-shirts and other warm weather gear as well. So we we got you covered all times of year there. So hopefully you find something on there for yourself, your significant other. Um, so please enjoy, take a look. Um, also please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube or TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers. And thank you very much for being here. We would not be here without you and that's the truth. I want to say thanks and uh, always remember that here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time.